We wrapped up our Atlanta visit, catching up with Candy, a frequent guest on our show when she's in New York. Currently, Candy's on tour with her group Escape and has a new film project with her husband, Todd Tucker, called The Past. And something we have in common with Todd and Candy, our love of the whiz, the musical returning to Broadway after 50 years, and Todd and Candy are producers. Cheers. Thank you. I made it. You made it. I made it. it. I made it. Mm -hmm. Finally, to Old Lady Gang, <laughs> ATL. And my plate is half already done because we've been talking already. I said mm -hmm. this was catching up with you. I can't keep up with you. Why you say that? Because you're always on the go, always moving, always evolving. Yeah, I mean, I do that on purpose, mm -hmm. though, right? Because, yeah. like, when you, you've been in industry for a long time, so have I. So I feel like I constantly... I think I, you know, you always reinventing yourself yeah. and, you know, being able to share something different with yeah. your audience and your people who really rock with you. And I just feel like I like so many things. You so I do. Just, I mean, I, Broadway, mm -hmm. The Wiz is coming up, the revival of The Wiz. Woo -woo. You're, involved, you're involved in that, producing TV shows, movies, mm -hmm. coming out with products for your fans. Yes. And we know those products. Yeah. Um, and music. <laughs> you're still touring. <laughs> And being an yes. amazing mom. Thank you. Well, what are you still dreaming saying, of doing and accomplishing? Oh, well, the biggest dream I have is, you know, I shared it with the world, is that I really want to win the EGOT, meaning yeah. I want to oh, win an Emmy, Oscar, Tony. I already have a Grammy. So I'm trying to get those other E, O, and T. You know what I mean? <laughs> and um, so that's like my biggest dream. Mm -hmm. I'm curious how much of that drive and that energy and that passion came from being born here, came from being raised here? I would say a lot. Yeah. Because I feel like there are so many people who just have that, that drive and that hustle, that independent, you know, thrive to make it, you know? And especially being an African-American woman, you know, Atlanta is the top city for <laughs> people to be successful as African-Americans, I'm just saying. <laughs> so yeah, that actually, yeah, for sure, I had to add to that. Being on tour, how has that been? It's been really good. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> Let me lean in over my food here. Well, well you know, my I'm group a, Escape, yeah. you know, we, we, we always had our trials and yeah. tribulations. Um, unfortunately, one of our members is not necessarily performing with us at this time. Yeah. Um, so it's just three of us performing, but we've been having a ball. Yeah. Really. Um, we got a lot of shows that we have for the rest of the year. Um, and it's been great performing with my group, yeah. Um, I look at Usher now in his residency in yeah. Vegas. We were able to go on the road to hang out with him. Mm -hmm. When you see that kind of energy, kind of residency, do you think? Mm. ATL, <laughs> that's what I think. <laughs> that's what you think? <laughs> I think that's ATL. That's the Atlanta effect. <laughs> well, because, you know, so many of us um, in music, yeah that started in the 90s and the R&B scene came out of Atlanta yeah, together. Came out of here. So like even with Usher, like I have, you know, this proudness in, inside of me when I see him doing the things he's doing. Yeah. You know, I think about where all of us started back in the day, like I'm a couple of years older than him, but he would be, you know, in a lot of the same places that I was as a teenager performing. You yeah. know, he was performing, doing his solo thing. Our group was doing our thing. And it's like, wow, all these years later, we're still doing it. Yeah, and I'm proud of you also with TV and film and producing, knowing that we're not very far from our friend Tyler Perry Studios. I it's, was just it, texting it, with him yesterday. <laughs> it's not limited yeah. to the music. It's also the inspiration of what we're seeing on TV. Yes. Coming to Atlanta, you have came to the heart and soul of the culture, right? <laughs> this is where it all starts. This is where all the trends start. This is where everybody gets things going, yeah. right? Um, and so, and I feel like that is in every area yeah. as far as entertainment, as in just what setting the vibe. Because This is where the vibe. the vibe, you guys set the vibe. We set the vibe. <laughs> uh, we talk a lot about, uh, freedom on our shows. This is our fifth season. And in numerology, the number five represents freedom, curiosity, and grace. Okay. Do you feel freer than ever? So you said number five. You the know, numerology. I'm born, I'm born in May. We're born in May. Yes. So there you go. You're May. the fifth month, <laughs> our fifth season, freedom, curiosity, grace. Do you feel more free than ever, more curious than ever? How, how do you describe? Hmm. Well, I definitely feel more free than ever, yeah. right? I hate when people just, they talk about what they want to do and they never put action behind it. That will never be me. 
I'm always trying to, okay, well, what's next? I'm, I, I, this is another thing I say. Before I, while I'm in my current move, meaning my current move of whatever people think is hot, I'm always planning my next move. Hmm. Like, you will never find a moment where it's just like, because if you think about it, you know, some people put out something and it's a big hit, right? Yeah. And then, but the what people say to you, what's, what's next? next? They don't even give you time. Mm. So I'm like, you don't even have to ask me that, girl. I already got the things in the pipeline that's coming, okay? Just know you need to be ready. <laughs> well, we're ready. Thank you. I love this.